Hey guys, welcome back to the Birds Party channel. This is our first video of the year, so I thought I'd kick things off with a delicious and warming donuts and coffee bar. This idea came to me because I gifted myself a coffee machine a few months ago, and I've had a coffee station or a coffee bar set up in my kitchen ever since, so I thought I'd share some easy ideas and DIY crafts with you guys so that you can set it up for entertaining at home. So whether you're hosting brunch on a weekend for friends and family, or you're planning a baby shower or a bridal shower or whatever other event that you have on your calendar for this season. This coffee and donuts bar is perfect for any winter celebration. But before we get started, make sure that you subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button so you're notified each time we upload a new video. With that being said, let's get the party started! And the first project that we're going to make are these Ray Dunn inspired coffee mugs which are so easy and inexpensive to make and all I did was to use some black vinyl paper which is adhesive and I used my cutting machine and I used a font called the skinny which I'll leave the link down in the description box for you so you can download it's a free font from the font and all I did is type a few words like latte, coffee, uh, coffee break, but you can personalize it with whatever text you like and make these mugs uh, personal and customized to your taste. And once you've cut your words, you're going to carefully remove the top part of the vinyl, leaving you with the text that you want to apply to the mugs underneath. Because the letters are quite skinny, you may need a little exacto knife or a little sharp tool to help you out. But just go slowly and surely and you get there no problem at all. It's not difficult, it's just a little bit time consuming. And to transfer our words to our mugs, I'm simply using a low tack masking tape or painter's tape and I'm placing that on top of my words in two pieces. You can obviously use some uh, transfer paper if you have some, but I didn't have any on hand. So this is the technique that I use. And then you're going to prop up your mugs and I'm just using here the tape and you can use an egg box or anything else you like as well. Just peel off the backing on the cutout letters and you just apply that on top of the clean mug. Obviously make sure that it's uh, clean and doesn't have any oils or anything underneath to make sure that the letters will adhere properly and just very carefully pull off the masking tape to reveal your beautiful DIY project. I love how these things turn out, how easy they are to make, how inexpensive and how you can customize really inexpensive mugs or containers or kitchenware really easily. Next step is not really a DIY, but it's just an easy idea to show you how you can personalize coffee syrups for your coffee and donuts bar. And all I did here was to use some soap dispensers. Obviously they were brand new, so make sure that you wash them out really well. And you can put your syrups in there. And then I just used some uh, chalkboard tags and a chalk pen to personalize my tags and write the names of the syrups to the front. And I think it looks so adorable. And obviously you can personalize to whatever type of syrup you are serving on your coffee and donuts bar. And you just tie that to the bottles and it's a really inexpensive way to make everything on your uh, coffee and donut station match beautifully and look a little bit more bespoke. And the next super easy DIY was the personalization of these coffee and sugar canisters that I used on my coffee and donuts bar. I wanted a similar look to the mugs but I didn't want to use the exact same vinyl technique so I used some black sticky uh, tags or should I say stickers that I like chalkboard stickers and I used my chalk pen once again to write the contents on the labels and the beauty of these stickers is that you can personalize them to whatever contents you have so if you change your mind later on and you, you want to use the canister for tea for something else you can you just rub them out and dry them off and just start to all over again which is really forgiving and really easy for a project like this so I wanted to have the same look like I said of the Ray Dunn font so I just free handed you know the word sugar and coffee and just simply peel off and stick to the front 
of the canisters and I love how easy this was but how also it tied in with the look that I was going for and with a similar font and style and just add a little bit more black to the whole setup. And last but not least, this super cool donuts board or donuts wall, whatever you want to call it. These have been trending on Pinterest for a couple of years now and I was dying to make my own. And this is a really easy DIY project. And all I did was to use a pegboard that I found at my local craft store. And this was a kind of like plywood uh, and it came already with the holes and with the little pegs that I'm going to use to insert the donuts. And as soon as I saw it, I knew uh, that I wanted to create a donuts wall with it. It's actually a shelf, but never mind, we can repurpose it for whatever idea that we have. And to cure it, all I did was to use walnut oil, and you can use mineral oil or look on the internet for something similar. And all you do is apply that all over the wood. And what this will do is to make the wood uh, waterproof and will also uh, cure the wood and make sure that it's food safe so you can display your donuts so if the donuts touch the wood you won't get any issues with that but if you don't want to use this technique you can also just leave the wood as it is and use some little doilies behind the donuts i've seen that done as well uh, to protect your donut so the donut doesn't actually uh, come in contact with the wood but because i wanted a really clean look and i wanted to uh, the wood to show up a little bit more i used walnut oil which is a super easy uh, oil to find you can find at any supermarket or even online and i just use a paper towel to kind of really spread the oil all over the surface of my board and just leave that for 24 hours wipe off any excess and you can reapply this oil as often as needed and it's really easy to clean as well and obviously don't forget to do the same uh, technique to apply the same uh, oil to the little pegs because the donuts will be in contact with the pegs directly now to complete my donuts wall or donuts board i just purchased some mdf letters to spell out the word donuts and they look quite cool uh, on their own like that color but i wanted them to pop against the wood uh, board itself so i decided to paint them with black acrylic paint this is not obviously food safe but the donuts will not be in contact with the letter so there's no problem there whatsoever and to paint them i just used a foam brush and I only needed one coat. You may need a couple of coats. It depends what kind of paint you're using and what kind of letters you are using as well. So basically just paint the whole thing, not forgetting the sides and the insides of the letters because they will be showing and just leave it to dry fully for 24 hours before you attach them to the board using a bit of hot glue. It's super easy and I think it really adds a nice touch to the board. Obviously you can write whatever you like if you're doing uh, the same technique for like say a bagels wall or a pretzels wall you can change the text or feel free just to leave it without any text whatsoever you can write things like treats so that the board becomes a little bit more versatile and you can use it for any other occasion as well so once the letters are dry all you're going to do is use a little bit of hot glue and make sure they space them out beforehand so that you know exactly where they're going and you don't have to uh, make any mistakes and pull anything off and that's it super easy and it looks so cool for weddings baby showers bridal showers or brunches or anything else that you're hosting to have a nice super cool donuts wall i love how this project turned out and how inexpensive and easy it was as well and just to show you guys how i styled everything obviously i have my coffee machine milk and creamer there the syrups and everything that i chose for uh, the coffee and donuts bar is in keeping with winter so i've added a little bit of faux fur a little bit of cotton uh, here and there just to bring in that kind of cozy feel and atmosphere for a winter coffee and donut station obviously my radon inspired mugs which i displayed inside a black wire a metal basket and in front of the donuts wall I just put my sugar and coffee canisters a little bit of cinnamon some chocolate sticks and these adorable chocolate spoons which I purchased already like that and obviously just fill up your canisters with the contents and to finish things off I added a cotton wreath behind my bar I love how everything turned out it was so easy to make as you saw all the DIY projects are really inexpensive as well and anyone can do this and I think it looks so gorgeous for any events that you may be hosting in the winter season like I said whether you're hosting brunch on a weekend for friends and family a baby shower bridal shower somebody's birthday 
or anything else you like. I think this is perfect and very wintry and it looks so cozy and so delightful. And as always, if you guys like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know that you like this kind of content. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell button to be notified each time I upload. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Right, take two then, because it's a bit cooler now I'm going to my tongue. Right, cheers. It's a little bit, still got my numbers. <laughs>